hello this is a model of cervical spine there's a neck part of the spine it has seven bones called c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 one over the other with a disc in between these are the vertebral bodies on the back side you can see a highly protected ring kind of structure called cervical spinal canal through which the spinal cord passes from the base of the skull to rest of the body this is the root you can see the yellow structure here at every level there is a pair of spinal nerves one to the right one to the left here you can appreciate and in between two bones you see a structure a kind of jelly kind of material which is called disc when this disc come out of its confines and presses on this nerve a kind of electric shock kind of sensation is produced in the supply of this nerve in the area where this nerve is going to supply these nerves supply the arms upper limbs so they will have this kind of tingling sensation numbness or pain shock kind of sensation in the area of distribution it may be in the shoulder coming up to arm for some people up to the thumb or up to middle finger or this part of the forearm and hand there is distributions so this culprit is the disc which is pressing on the nerve what we do for that most of them many a times they respond to medicines in case if it doesn't it will require a microsurgical operation there are various surgeries available one is to take out this disc from the front here take out the disc and take out this offending piece of disc which is compressing on the nerve anterior cervical discectomy and we fuse that segment using a piece of bone taken from the hip region and then fix it in place using metal plate and screws like how we are seeing here in some selected cases what we do is a very radically different operation in which we preserve the natural disc go from the back side and take out microscopically only that small piece of disc which is pressing on the nerve that's a minimally invasive procedure which gives the same result the nerve gets free but with preserving of the natural disc it's called laminoforaminotomy operation sometimes we will take out the disc but we will place an artificial disc you are seeing this lower down this is an artificial disc so that the mobility is preserved between the adjacent bones the neck movements will be more free that's called an artificial disc surgery cervical arthroplasty all does the same effect of relieving the nerve of the pressure caused by this extruded disc on the very Uh, microscopic procedures we can consider minimally invasive procedures with highly gratifying results thank you